is who is on the front line. There's always infrastructure in a community, always. You know, even when you look at the time in, in terms of an enslavement of Africans in this country, there was always a way to move information in spite of slavery. There was always a way of moving food and resources in spite of slavery, right? And so there's always an infrastructure that exists in the community. It doesn't matter where that community is. The goal is if you tap into that power base, if you tap into, though we, we all know the, the sisters who live down on the side of the street, the old lady live on the side of the street that know everything happening in the neighborhood, right? We know the corner store that you go to that where you get information, right? Who can tell you where every dead body is, right? We know the folks who when somebody's in trouble or their house is caught on fire, who is going to show up to provide resources for them. That's the power in our community. And so if we're actually helping to invest in that, infrastructure to help build that out, to help coordinate where people are working. You know, the way that we saw, you know, when, when you're looking at power and political power, I'll say this just quickly, that you're looking at normally it's either political candidates or political parties. Instead, what we wanted to do is reframe the, the political landscape. And that fundamentally what you know is that Black Voters Matter became our campaign. Our candidate was power was black power that instead of being connected to necessarily a particular candidate or a particular party, that for us, it is engaging people in a process of their agency and where their own power, that's what they're exerting and that's what they're actually utilizing. So that's why our model, even in this last election cycle, we were able to support over 600 um, black led grassroots groups in the spectrum of which Cliff raised in Georgia alone, we worked in over 50 counties that we were very intentional from the beginning around working in the black belt that there had to be a connection of the urban and the rural connection. That one, that there were urban centers that we are in. And so you've got to be there, but you also have folks that have been pushed out of many of these cities and are living in the um, suburban areas or even have selected or to live in, in rural areas or areas that are considered rural areas. So what happens when you're making that connectivity, when you're building out the ecosystem? And so that's what our work is rooted in. That's what the work has been rooted in in Georgia that for us, elections are just not, elections in itself. If you're just doing election work, that's very transactional. Our goal is to be transformative. We are trying to transform the entire political landscape in this country. We want to see something different. We believe that people deserve something different. Children don't deserve to be in cages, right? Women don't deserve to be able to, to have hysterectomies when they're sex seeking refuge. People don't need to be shot in the back, right? Or killed just because of who they are, their skin color, right? And so fundamentally our work is really a larger context that, is, that supersedes party or political affiliation. This literally is rooted in how do we center power around people power so that we are literally impacting and shifting and transforming the political landscape. So that's our work.